Natural capital is very important in that uh, it helps us achieve the objectives of poverty reduction. It helps us to achieve our goals of economic growth in a sustainable fashion. And more importantly, it ensures that the benefits out of the natural capital accrue to broader public than few influential individuals. It also helps our future generations to be able to generate their own livelihood from that natural capital if it is well preserved. Yes, in the context of Durban uh, City, there was an investment in preserving the coast um, where we, we invested in the upper catchment management by helping to deal with waste management, um, by helping to, uh, to prevent any industrial um, effluent into the riverine ecosystem. So it has helped in ensuring that our coast has clean water and is attractive to tourists. So far, the investment in uh, natural capital in the example that I've given of Deben has been in the form of grants that have come from government. I believe that we can improve that in the future by ensuring that for every big development that is going to rely on the natural capital, there is some money that is contributed by the developers towards the, the, the preservation or upgrade of natural capital. Um, when you look at uh, the coast in, in particular, because it benefits the tourism sector, we can be able to charge uh, some tourism levy um, per tourist, uh, the part of which should be used to, to manage that particular nat um, natural capital for the benefit of the tourism sector.